Fight fans, this is Sean. We're BoxingSocialist.com here at Legendary Ronnie Shield. Ronnie, Jamal's getting ready for his fight next week. How's he looking so far? Looking great, you know. Got a great camp. Uh, now we're bringing him down in a bit, and uh, we just uh, let it go now, man. Right, right. You know, I heard that for some reason, I don't know why, they got him as an underdog next week against Antoine Smith, but... I, I don't see it being an underdog, man. Do you have any idea why they're, they're, they're breaking him as an underdog? Well, because, you know, he's, he's only had 14 fights, and, you know, Antoine Sweet just meet another young contender. And, you know, I mean, uh, underdogs come and go, you know. It's all right to be an underdog. We're not worried about that. You know what I mean? You know, that's what we do. You know, we, if we beat guys, who's supposed to beat us. Right, right, exactly. And what about his brother, Jamel? How's Jamel looking so far? Jamel's looking good. We don't have anything coming up right now. He's just in the gym helping his brother. And, you know, and just helping his brother get ready. And mm. pretty soon we'll be hearing about a fight for him. All right, and we're four weeks out from seeing Brian Vera versus Chavez Jr. All the way out of California. How do you see that fight playing out, man? Everybody tells me it's going to be explosive toe-to-toe -to -toe war. But, you know, from Brian's looking like he, he got some, some more repertoire he can pull out on Chavez. Absolutely, you know, because Brian is working good, working hard, and you know, we should have a few surprises for people. Yeah, there you go. Now, how big of a fight is this? I mean, we know Brian's been on TV before, but I mean, the magnitude fighting the son of a legend, Chavez Jr., how, how big is this for him? I mean, it's huge because Chavez Jr. has, has built the name for himself. You know, he just finally got under underneath the shadows of his father, and now it's, uh, it's all about him. So, you know, he's you know, he got a good reputation as a good fighter. So that's what you want to do. This is what we do. We, you know, you fight the best fighters out there and you beat them. Right, right. They have it. And now there's at one time we heard that there's possible there was going to be a child versus Laura fight. But I guess that fight's not going through. Do you have any idea well, what's next to Laura? I have no idea right now, but the, the Trout and Laura fight was never discussed wow. by the people who would count to, to make it. And so, you know, there was probably just some fan threw that out there, and it, you know, it caught fire, and you know, that's the way boxing is, but you know, that fight was never discussed. Right, another one of your prospects, Danny O'Connor, had a good fight a, a little a little bit back. How did Danny look to you, and what can we expect for his next fight? Well, Danny didn't look as good as I wanted him to look, but he moved up in weight, and sometimes the first time, you know, it's part of the hardest time. So now, you know, we're just looking forward to him to come back again. He's going to fight uh, September the 12th in Boston. So, you know, Dan, Dan will be back real soon. Oh, this is Carla J.